Greetings, everyone. Have you heard this statement before? If you fail to plan, then plan to fail. There's some good advice, I believe, in that statement we just heard. Uh, you know, uh, I wonder how many times that uh, I've thought that I had a good idea. And maybe I did. You know, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. But I didn't do the next step. And that next, st that next step is to get some advice. And that takes us to our word for our verse for today, which is found in Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 22. It says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Let's look at that verse a little bit. It says the purposes are disappointed. Those purposes are thoughts. Uh, works is what it says. So there's purposes that uh, maybe some things that we're thinking about, maybe some things that we are worrying about. The works are maybe some things that we are planning on doing uh, uh, in our life. So those are the purposes. And it says those purposes are disappointed. Uh, that word disappointed means frustrated, uh, broken up. Uh, then, of course, we know the word counsel uh, would mean to, it's a company of persons in close deliberation. But then the, that verse says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. That's how this disappointment comes, is when we do not go and seek out counsel for whatever it is that we are thinking about or worrying about or need help with or something that we are planning to do, that we do not seek counsel. And then the Bible says there in the second part, it says, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. That word they there, of course, is the purpose, okay? The purposes will be established. That word established means to make stable or to firm, okay? To finalize uh, in the uh, counselors. And it says there the multitude of counselors. That word multitude means abundance. Uh, that means uh, for however many you need to find uh, to get you pointed in the right direction. Uh, the book of Proverbs in chapter 11, verse 14 says this, where no counsel is, the people fall. When that word fall there is fail without counsel. And it says, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. And that word safety there means a sense of rescue. Uh, there's times that advice, others that we can seek counsel from will rescue from the situation that we are in or the situation that we're planning on doing. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15, the Bible says, The way of, of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. And so if, if we seek out counsel, and that's why it's good to have a multitude of counselors to get uh, different, because you're the one who's going to have to make the decision. Uh, we still have to make a decision, but if we can get a different thoughts from different people, that's why we want to make sure uh, that we find other people that do not think like we do. That's not going to tell us what we want to hear. And I'll talk about that for a minute in a minute. But a couple questions. One would be, for what should I get counsel? And we know that that's an endless question. I mean, from day to day, we go through life. There's areas in our life we need to seek counsel for. You think about a young person seeking God's will for their life and how to find it. And talking to other people about it that has sought the Lord for the will for their life. Because we know God has a purpose for each and every one of us. Uh, for those that are looking to get married, listen, the best way uh, to plan for marriage is to plan before you get married, to be the best husband that you can be, to be the best wife that you can be, and get counsel in what you need to do. Look for people that have been through it, that have happy marriages. Uh, you think of it, even though after you're married, there's times you need some counsel um, for different areas in your life to seek it. Uh, you think about even the job market and the job opportunity, or uh, just if you're planning on doing something. These are good times to get and seek out counsel. It's looking for something, looking for ideas, looking for advice when there's something that you, you've never done before and you just need to uh, make sure that you're going the right way. And that verse says that without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Okay, and that's why we get frustrated because we try to do everything ourselves, and we do not learn from those that have already maybe made a mistake or they've already went the road before us. So why not learn from them? 
Um, so from whom or where should we get counsel? Well, first of all, we know that the Bible says this in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Remember whenever the Bible says, For unto us a child is born, uh, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And one of the names that they said was Counselor. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is our counselor. He's the first one that we should go to. Uh, he, we, we need to pray and seek the Lord's face. Uh, and re then remember also the Holy Spirit's the one that leads us and guides us and directs us. So we want to go to God first. And then the Bible says this in Proverbs eight fourteen. It says, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Counsel is mine. Listen, wisdom wants to talk to us. The word of God wants to speak to us. Listen, that's where we need to go to the Lord, go to the Word of God, to seek the counsel. What does the Bible have to say about this subject? And then the Bible also says in Proverbs that iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Uh, you know, we need to go to others. Uh, we need to find other people, like we said, that's already went down this road. And not someone that's just going to agree with the way you think, but someone to get you to th see something from a different point of view that would help you with make that decision. Uh, I would like to say books. Of course, the Bible is the first book, but you have to be careful. Uh, there's a lot of different authors, and all the authors do not think the same way you do. And I'm th say saying that because of with the Christian point of view. And so that's very important. There are good books written to get into different areas of our life. And so it's not unwise to do it, but we just want to make sure that the person, the author that's writing the book, uh, has the right sense of view with, uh, with the Bible in mind with it. You know, the Bible says this in Proverbs 13, 10, with the well-advised is wisdom. Listen, that's another way we can get wisdom is from being well advised. That helps us making the right the ch choices. That's why, listen, that's why the book of Proverbs is just so important as we go through, because we have decisions. How many decisions you are going to make today? And you need wisdom in making those decisions. And so, but remember, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Well, you have a good day, my friend. I pray you'll have a great week uh, again this week. Let's keep seeking the Lord, trusting in Him, uh, for Him to do great and mighty things. And remember, we are another day closer.